Hello, I'm Misty at Skeeter Jones, and in this video, I'll be unboxing a fun box from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, in case you saw my last video of a fun box from Mechanicsburg, it wasn't the best. Uh, maybe this one will redeem them. I've seen a few really good fun boxes here lately, so we'll see what I get this time. I was going to actually record my uh, purse collab video for the 22nd. There will be nine of us participating in a purse collab. I was going to record that actually yesterday, but you can probably tell from my voice that I have a little bit of a head cold and I'm kind of stuffy and I want to sound um, my best during the collab video. So I'm waiting to record that and instead this is hot off the presses. I just picked it up from the delivery driver for FedEx and it's actually still warm from the truck. So we will see what I get. I um, ordered this about two weeks ago, I think. It took a while to get here. I ordered another one the same day and it has not shipped yet. So uh, this is the one, <laughs> the short where I said, uh, why do they all seem to come from Mechanicsburg lately? It seems like the last several boxes I've gotten of any kind have come from Mechanicsburg. So, and that's really not my favorite warehouse to get them from. I really love to get boxes from Swanee because they're packed nicely, they have great items, and uh, I don't know, Swanee just uh, across the board has a reputation for uh, doing the best job. So, let's see. Ordered not two weeks ago, about a week ago. It was ordered June 4th, and it is a fun box. So, I don't have the, the psychedelic box or the psychedelic paper. I've got the old school paper. So I will peel the paper back to give you a first peek. There's some kind of a meh <laughs> looking items in here. So we'll just go through them really quick. First is a pair of sunglasses that, let's see, oh, they are marked. Well, they just are marked with this little, it probably won't even show up, this really faint number right there. But sort of cat eye shaped with the wide arms on them. I'll put those probably in my uh, swimsuit video that will be coming up, which I'm, I may actually go live with that swimsuit video. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see next, fashion jewelry, these bride earrings that well I got an extra back there's backs on both of these and I have another back and they just say bride they're metal just gold tone with these little pearly doodads <laughs> on them they're about about two inches long bride earrings so it's not wowing me so far. So we'll we'll just keep going through and see see if it gets better. So let's see a hat. This is a uh, vintage apparently just from the looks of the the tag there. Otto Lucas Jr. made in Italy. And it actually is, looks like a vintage kind of style. With this little, uh, I don't know what you call that, a little bun thing on the top. So, I don't know. <laughs> Looks kind of crazy. I don't know, it comes, actually has this little part folded up inside. I'll have to Google that. If you know anything about Otto Lucas Jr. Uh, hats, I'll be glad to know what you know. Still not wowing me. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will get better. Let's see. Peter Alexander pajamas. Used to have a price that is kind of, that puts some white out over the price. Peter Alexander, the special fabric is irresistible to the touch, but can peel a little, so please take care and follow the instructions. So, I don't know. 
It is really, really soft. Peter Alexander Polyester Elastane Dust Cloud Print. And it says Peter Alexander with the little clouds. Super, super soft. So I've never heard of Peter Alexander pajamas. So hopefully that will be something good. Okay, there's something wrapped in tissue. Here are the requisite socks. These are friends, little cozy socks. Central Perk, the coffee shop from Friends. Original retail $12.99. One size fits most. So they're just pink with the little central perk logo and the little non-slip things on the bottom. That's okay, I guess. Okay, here's a little strange item. Well, not strange, just strange for a fun box. I've never gotten anything like this. The Happy Planner is just a, well, I was gonna say notepad, but it's got these little cutouts here where apparently it goes in some kind of maybe you get this little binder separately and then you can refill the pages with this I suppose that's what that is I will look that up okay next oh another Peter Alexander I wonder if this will be counted as two pieces or as one since it's a set but it's got the same little dog that's on the tag, I guess. I don't know. Peter Alexander. It is a size medium. I don't think I gave you a size on the pants. And they are a medium as well. They don't look like they match. I mean, they're both blue, but one's navy and one's not. A scarf? No, this is not a scarf. This has, this looks like a little kimono thing. Regina, Regenta, Chef, New York, one size. This kind of reminds me of something that Jamie got in her fun box that she thought was a scarf, but then realized it had sleeves, because that's what this looks like. Like, it looks like a scarf, but that's a sleeve on the end. And it's got this sort of floral design. Okay. Interesting. Headband. There we go. What do you think? A new day. That is Target, I believe. Original retail $8. And these are just bows with hair clips. Like this kind of the alligator clips. With bows. So that's okay. Those look nice. This might be a gift with purchase or something. I'm not, not sure I could really sell those. A Conto style belt. I think. they kind of lightweight. I don't see any branding on it. It's just these little medallions, or I think they're called contos. And it's just silver tone with the chain and the little, little lobster hook. And a little leather belt with turquoise, maybe faux turquoise beads. This is used, it looks like. Yeah, because it's kind of curled right here on the back. That could be from, you know, hanging up on a rack, but I really think it's used. Here's the telltale sign. Yes, it's got the little indentation, like right 
there. So this is a used little belt, but it's cute. And nothing left but this. So let's see what this is. It is a little ring dish, little jewelry dish. Oh, Kate Spade. So it's a nice, nice item. So one really, really nice thing. Um, and a few things that are okay. Uh, this was not a terrible box. Wasn't my best one. I've gotten some amazing boxes before. This one is, it's okay. So, and I have one, hopefully that'll be on the way soon. It's on order and hasn't shipped yet. Fingers crossed that it will come from Swanee and there'll be something really great in it. So let's count our items. The Kate Spade ring dish or jewelry dish is one, two, three, this kimono thing makes four bride earrings for five, the hair bows for six, central perk seven, um, the hat is eight, the notepad is nine, the sunglasses are ten, and then the pajamas are either eleven or eleven and twelve. <laughs> depending on how you want to count that. So, it was a pretty decent box. I'm going to have to look up these Peter Alexander pajamas. Hopefully that's something really good. And um, I'll see what they are. If you know about anything in this box that I didn't know about, um, I welcome your input. And let me know what you think about the box overall. These things, uh, the things that are sellable, I will list. The things that I don't really think I could sell, I'll put those in my gift with purchase stash and... People who buy from me on eBay will get those. So I uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share it with a friend who you think might also enjoy this. And I really love engaging with my viewers and subscribers in the comment section. So please let me know what you think. Leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.